The Pueblo Chemical Agent Destruction Pilot Plant PCAP, is a chemical weapons destruction facility that has been built to destroy the chemical weapons stockpile at the Pueblo Chemical Depot, in southeastern Colorado. The depot contains munitions that are part of the U.S. National Chemical Weapons Stockpile. Before chemical weapons disposal began at PCAP, these munitions contained 2,613 U.S. tons of mustard agent. The weapons have been stored at the 23,000-acre square kilometers) depot since the 1950s. Destruction of this stockpile is a requirement of the Chemical Weapons Convention, an international treaty to which the United States is a party. The Organization for the Prohibition of Chemical Weapons is the implementing body of the Chemical Weapons Convention and monitors the progress of the nation's chemical weapons destruction programs. The Program Executive Office, Assembled Chemical Weapons Alternatives PEOACWA, oversees the destruction of the Pueblo Chemical Weapons Stockpile. Bechtel Pueblo Team BPT, consisting of Bechtel National, Inc., AECOM and Bechtel Memorial Institute will design, construct, pilot test, operate and close PCAP. Topic. Planning of activities Destruction began in 2016 and the plant will operate until all the chemical weapons have been destroyed and closure activities shut down, dismantling, and restoration of site have been completed. This completion is slated for 2023. In 2010, the Pueblo Chemical Depot, in conjunction with the ACWA program, completed an Environmental Assessment EA, to meet the requirements of the National Environmental Policy Act, or NEPA, and Title 32 Code of Federal Regulations Part 651 regarding the construction and operation of the U.S. Army's Explosive Destruction System EDS, and or other Explosive Destruction Technologies EDT, at the U.S. Army Pueblo Chemical Depot in Colorado. The EA was withdrawn and a new EA was completed in 2012. The new EA focused on the use of EDT for destroying overpacked and reject munitions. In April 2013, Program Executive Officer Conrad F. Wine announced his selection of EDS to augment the Pueblo Chemical Agent Destruction Pilot Plant for the safe destruction of chemical munitions unsuited for processing by the main plant's automated equipment. Topic. History of chemical demilitarization in Colorado Topic. Technology The Department of Defense conducted studies to evaluate potential impacts of the elimination of these weapons using incineration and non-incineration methods. Four technologies were considered. Incineration Chemical neutralization followed by supercritical water oxidation Chemical neutralization followed by supercritical water oxidation and gas phase chemical reduction Electrochemical oxidation neutralization followed by biotreatment was selected for the destruction of the Colorado stockpile. The technology comprises the following steps. Robotic equipment removes energetics explosives from the weapon, including the fuse and the burster. The energetics are disposed of at a permitted facility off-site. The inside of the weapon is remotely accessed and mustard agent is washed out with high-pressure water. The mustard agent is mixed with hot water. The resulting mixture is neutralized with a caustic solution. The byproduct is called hydrolysate. The hydrolysate is treated biologically. The water is recovered for reuse in the destruction process and the excess activated sludge is secured in containers for disposal at an off-site permitted facility. Metal parts are heated to 1000 degrees Fahrenheit 538 degrees Celsius for 15 minutes and are then recycled. Topic. Explosive Destruction Technology EDT. 
After an assessment of problem munitions showed that their destruction would be difficult using neutralization and biotreatment, ACWA decided to explore use of explosive destruction technology aka explosive demolition technology, explosive detonation technology, EDT, for these projectiles. EDT uses heat and pressure from explosion or just heat to destroy the munitions, it is not considered incineration and does not require disassembly of the weapons. There are three general types of technologies that can destroy chemical weapons. Detonation technology, destroys the majority of the agent and explosive in the munition by detonating donor explosives wrapped around the munition. The resulting off-gases are processed through secondary treatment to ensure agent destruction. Examples of detonation technology include the Transportable Detonation Chamber, or TDC, and the DAVINCH detonation of ammunition in a vacuum integrated chamber. Neutralization technology, uses small explosive-shaped charges to open the munition and consume the explosive in the burster and fuse. The agent is destroyed by subsequent neutralization. The U.S. Army's EDS, is an example. Thermal destruction, uses the heat of the electrically heated containment vessel to deflagrate the munition and destroy the agent and energetics. The resulting gases are treated in an off-gas treatment system. The static detonation chamber, or SDC, is an example of thermal destruction technology. In April 2013, Program Executive Officer Conrad F. Wine announced his selection of the U.S. Army's EDS to augment the PCAP for the safe destruction of chemical munitions unsuited for processing by the main plant's automated equipment. The PCAP EDS started processing on March 18 with the elimination of Department of Transportation dot, bottles which contain chemical agent drained from selected munitions munitions over the years to assess the condition of the stockpile. On April 8, the first munitions were successfully processed. In June, operators at the PCAP EDS took things up a notch with the introduction of 4.2-inch mortars into the destruction process. The first three mortars were joined by three 105mm projectiles. All were safely detonated in the vessel on June 18. On July 16, the first 155mm projectiles from Pueblo's stockpile were safely destroyed in the PCAP EDS. The PCAP EDS completed its first campaign in February 2016, destroying 549 munitions that leaked or were sampled in the past and 11 bottles containing mustard agent. The second campaign ran from June 25 to December 5, 2018. Topic. Static Detonation Chamber SDC. In spring 2018, PCAP announced a proposal to procure three Static Detonation Chambers SDC. Due to performance issues identified during the first year of pilot testing, and in order to complete destruction of the stockpile by 2023, this technology is being considered to augment the main plant under a proposal by the Assembled Chemical Weapons Alternatives Program. To meet the requirements of the National Environmental Policy Act and federal regulations, an environmental assessment was conducted. A finding of no significant impact resulted from the assessment. Topic. Public outreach The Pueblo Chemical Stockpile Outreach Office was established in 1997 to serve as the community's primary information resource on chemical weapons destruction in Colorado. The office responds to inquiries, provides information materials and coordinates guest speakers for a variety of different civic groups and organizations and interfaces with the governor-appointed Colorado Chemical Demilitarization Citizens Advisory Commission. Topic. See also Pueblo Chemical Depot Pueblo Depot Activity